Kayla, please like and subscribe. It's time for Caleb's choice. His choice. His rules. All right. With this hot summer weather, I was looking around for food challenges. This and more season food, again. There's a food challenge um, in uh, Tampa, Florida, the Hampton Chocolate Factory. It's a five-pound soft-serve ice cream cone. If you eat it in 10 minutes, um, it's free. Could five you guys do that? Pounds? I Hell no. I would get a brain freeze. Would you try it? No. But that's five freaking pounds. I, I would not try it. I no. would try it. I wouldn't want to get sick. No, okay, I want to enjoy the ice cream. Be to the Hampton Chocolate Factory. Are you gonna eat fun. five pounds what? of soft serve? No, What's I'm just gonna eat ice cream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reward again? Free cone. Free ice cream. <laughs> it's free. free. For your you free pay five for pounds that you're about to throw up in. Yeah, like that's for a year? just gonna come right back out. It's coming okay. out one of those orifices. I don't yeah. know which one, but <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be bad. He's nuts. I think it was close That's to like my, $40 my response. if you don't eat it. It's $40? I think it's like $40. 30 so dollars. I had, actually, I had a soft-served ice cream yesterday from McDonald's, and I couldn't even eat all that, and it's small. Well, you're just practicing. You're warming up. <laughs> I'm just Mark, practicing. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> wow. You know what? I bet I could, Caleb. I bet yeah. I could do it after doing eating a hot chip. There you go. Yeah. And then you could do one it. One chip challenge and then the a one chip ice challenge. Cream <laughs> because that, when, oh, I, when yeah. we did the one chip challenge, I was shoveling yeah. like a whole pint of ice cream at a time. And not one time did I get a brain freeze. So that is true. It, yeah, I've never so seen anybody eat as much ice cream as you ate on the day we did the one chip challenge. Yeah, so if I can <laughs> like eat the one chip system. challenge and then eat the five pounds, I think I could do it. I think I could do it. I'll that's be a, sick as a, for the next week, but <laughs> that's a lot there. of sauce serve. Yeah, that's a <laughs> lot. Yeah. So John picked his winner, Holly. Pick Maria. Okay, that works. Here we go. Just want to make sure we got that out there. So congratulations to Maria. Yes. And plus, she said air biscuits yeah. like before everybody else, so that deserves a win. <laughs> yeah. That's just funny to me that you didn't know that the air biscuit. I wouldn't. I mean, it I would have had to really think about funny. it. But yeah, because yeah. I was like reading them, and I'm like, no, farts not on there. And then it just like clicked all of a sudden. I'm like, oh yeah. shoot, hold on, you actually are right. <laughs> yeah, a dollar fifty two. Now we're talking. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's more. Well, that's uh, Custard with different than soft served. It's so good. Oh yeah, custard. It's, it's kind custard, of like yeah. what they have at Culver's. Do you guys yeah. have Culver's? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have Andy's? No. Oh. Oh. I got sorry. Your that life one. is not as good as. Do ours. you guys have Bahama Bucks? No. Nope. Okay. That that's <laughs> amazing <laughs> because it's got two words. Bahama <laughs> Bucks is like shaved ice snow cone. And you can uh, even get ice cream in it. And when you mix it, holy crap, it's really good. It is really, really good. Mm. That sounds good. I've never yeah. even heard of that. Like, yeah. we're not cool enough to even know um, I know is. it's in California. And then they brought it to Phoenix. It's not like a real big chain yet. Mm. But, yeah, because it's only, you know what? No, there's one in Tucson and Phoenix. So, yeah, okay. it's great. So right. yeah, Caleb's next Wait, question what before. Is Beth Hour? What? Jay what? asked, "Do you know when the Dev Hour is today?" Dev Hour. What's that? I don't even know what he's talking about. Me neither. Devour? You mean like you're gonna devour some ice cream? No, I think he's talking about devs. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> Caleb, before you ask this next question, I hope you're prepared to for people to give you a hard time. <laughs> I, I knew it. I forget Jay you can't with you. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. I'm hungry because, yeah, I'm asking <laughs> to eat pizza. Is. I saw that uh, someone doing a pizza challenge and he was eating it backwards. He's eating the crust first. 
Huh. I'm just wondering how, you, how do you guys eat pizza? What's the best way? Okay. Crust first every time if there's cheese in the crust. Okay. Oh, Otherwise, see, no, not crust first. Opposite. Throw away I the crust. just eat it the regular way. But what if it's a square? Oh, that's the best kind I was going to say. You then you eat that yeah. thing like a taco. Just yeah, fold like it up and eat it. Well, New York style pizza, like actual. See, that's what I'll fold New York's pizza because it's giant. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's and it's super flat. So when you you know fold it in half, you get a good bite. But yeah, other than I mean regular pizza, it's just normal, even stuffed crust. What, and what's a square, normal for you? Like, huh? <laughs> what's no normal for you? She takes the whole thing. No, in terms of from, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how to say it. She for, eats like, it from the bottom. Like, you know, yeah. the pointy part. The pointy part, yeah. Pointy part first. The yeah. pointy part. That's what I like. Just the tip. No. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, what would your pitch be to get on an alien spaceship? What are you going to tell the aliens to get you get yourself abducted? Just freaking uh, uh, me. I ask them almost every day in my backyard, where are you? I'm over here. Come get me. Nothing. Bitch. Nothing. Well, you got to change what? it. Then. Is that real? A pitch. You really yeah. ask them every day to come take you? Damn near. Oh. Wow. <laughs> because, like, you know, hmm. we'll be hanging out with the dogs and on the back porch, and I'm just looking in the sky, and I'm – like there's random, you know, planes or asking or aliens to take you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, hey, if this is alien, come and get me. Uh, and Unaki. Mm. Mm. Yeah, true. I would dress up in my Star Trek outfit and just say, "Beam me up." Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to have a pitch for it. I don't want to go. Oh my gosh, I do. I have all kinds of theories, like. You know, I don't think that the people who, you know, have been abducted and how they say, oh, we've been probed, all this stuff. I think they're trying to keep them alive in their aircraft and wherever they take them. Yeah. And that's why they have to be probed and all that stuff, because we don't breathe or whatever the same. I, I want to know. That I doesn't sound own. like a good time. Or maybe you, know, you have to just go with it. You're scared, of course, oh. but they're not trying to kill you. How, how about this? Get your how about genetics. I, how about I just vouch for you and Greg? I'll just yeah, vouch for well, you two. I'll yeah, try to talk him into taking you guys. Yes. All I right. Admit, so I can't well, they don't want you to know what's going on. They got to keep you sedated. Me. <laughs> Take me if you don't rate me. Oh, my goodness. That might get us banned. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure you can say that word out loud on YouTube. <laughs> no, I might. We might have to bleep that out. <laughs> it's live. I can't it out. <laughs> uh, and we're shut down. All right, all this question before we get shut off, the, taken off yes. the air. What is the worst job you have ever had? Worst? Yeah. yeah. I'll go. So, okay. My one of my very well, not my very first job. Like when I first moved to Flagstaff. I got a job at Chick-fil-A. Hated it because I was like the little grunt worker because I was there the newest. I had to mop. I had to clean the dining room, the bathrooms. It wasn't that your is pleasure. not the job for me. It is hard work. Oh it goodness. is hard work. I Yeah, it's not my faith. I worked there for two weeks and I was out. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. And you no longer wanted Chick Fil A anymore either. Like you yeah. smell it enough, you're not going to eat it anymore, and that is the truth. I didn't eat Chick Fil A for a long time after did, I worked. Did you there. have to say it's my pleasure or whatever? No, they say. which is so weird. <laughs> so that wasn't a thing because I was how old was I? I was 16. So like this was years and years and years ago. They weren't nice and friendly, or they didn't train you to be nice and friendly like they do now. Okay. Yeah. They weren't nice and friendly back then? <laughs> I mean, it's nothing. No, no. Because now, like, the kids that work there or the people that work there, they have to go through, like, a special training yeah. on how to greet a customer, how to, you know, say goodbye to a customer, and it's my pleasure. They have to actually get trained to do that. It is yeah. part of the, the job now, whereas before it was not. 
because I never went through that training. So my, my, mine is similar to that. So I'll, I'll tell mine real fast. I worked at Taco Bell when I was in college for uh, an hour. <laughs> for an hour? Left. Yeah, and then I left. Wow. So they, I, I clocked in, and my first job was to take the trash out, which, whatever, I'm not above that. And yeah. then I did that while nobody else did anything. My second job was to, I think, clean the bathrooms, which I had experience in that when I worked at Walmart in high school. I used to do that. So I did that while no one did anything. And my second job was to clean all the gum out from underneath all the tables, which I thought was like something you did daily until I got underneath there and realized, ain't nobody cleaned the gum out from underneath the tables in <laughs> like 10 one. years. Oh, yuck. I so I got up and said, I'm not doing it. They said, well, then you don't have a job here. I said, okay. I started to walk out the door. She said, well, you can't just take your shirt. <laughs> so I took my shirt off, <laughs> threw it over the counter, walked out of my car without a shirt on, and drove home. I was like, I'm not doing this. So. So in your experience, this, I, I do want to know, since you clean bathrooms as well, who uh -huh. I already know the answer. The dirtiest bathroom. Women. Women. Why? Uh, I cannot oh, wrap oh, my oh. brain around that. And I'm telling you, for the two weeks that I actually had to clean, I am so disappointed in women because I know with me, like I'm very much a clean person. Like I can't even fathom peeing on the floor or like was, <laughs> I don't know what these women are doing in those bathrooms and why, be, but they were no, probably the <laughs> two to three times worse than the men's and that at is least. insanity to me insanity. I, would, I would have women that worked at Walmart with me that would see me pushing the cart towards the bathroom and go I'm sorry you have to do this today see, and but, I knew right then it was horrible yeah it was, and it was, it would take me, if it took me an hour to clean the bathrooms at Walmart, it would take me probably 50 of those minutes was in the women's bathroom, 10 minutes in the men's. But see, and Maria says it's because we don't sit on the toilet. Yes. However, but if you can I, throw your trash away. You, right. There's, it's so much more than just. Oh the yeah. Like it's so much more <laughs> and I don't understand it. And I'm disappointed in women, please. Get it together. We got to do, yeah, you got to do better. <laughs> got to do better, girl. But I will say it was a great motivator as a high school kid cleaning the women's bathroom at Walmart to decide to do something better with my life than do that for the rest of my life because it was horrid. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, that's, I, it's still to this day shocking, but it is true. I can't believe us women sometimes. We need to get it together. All right, Caleb, what's yours? Mine's uh, working at Bob Evans. I worked there for about three hours. I did all the, the training videos. Jeez, and then they put so me in the kitchen to help cook. And the cook left to get for his lunch break. And I had no, they didn't train me anything in the kitchen. So I started getting orders in and I just walked out the back door and went home. <laughs> I was just like, I'm done. That's awesome. Yeah. That's crazy. At least I stuck mine out for two weeks. You guys are hours. <laughs> wow. I was they one didn't train me. I didn't even go back wow. to the paycheck. They called me and said, uh, "Do you yeah. have a check here?" I was like, "You can keep it. I don't." For your don't need forty-five it. minutes that you yeah, actually from, <laughs> yeah. wow. And back then, it was probably like a six dollar an hour job. I was like, "You can keep the six bucks." Six dollars? You'd be lucky. When I first started working, it was five fifteen. Well, that's what it was when I first started working in high school. But this was in college, so it would have been four or oh, five okay. years later. But yeah. Whatever minimum wage was, that's what Taco Bell pays. Okay, <laughs> it was, and no. back then it was, it yeah. was it was bad. You know what though, Taco Bell and McDonald's and fast food places are actually starting to pay more. Yeah, and so are we as consumers. Yeah, my daughter worked at McDonald's. That was her very first job. She wanted to do it. She applied, got her the job all on her own, which good for her. I was proud of her. She was making sixteen freaking dollars an hour. I was like, are you kidding me? But I actually made her quit because they wanted her to do an overnight job. Mm. And mm. where the, the lobby is as a teenager four hours as in, in school. Oh and yeah. No, as a parent, you got to step I in can't there. Do this and they, you know, <laughs> Thanks, she, Jay. Melly said, you know, I'm not able to go in and do the overnight. I'll, you know, do any other shift, but I can't do this. The, her manager, like, 
texted her back and said, well, if this is, you know, this is going to be a penalty on your, as a no show, all this stuff. And Melly said, well, my mom says I have to quit mm -hmm. because I did. I said, yeah. you are quitting. First off, she's a, a girl. Second of all, she was 17 at the time. Yeah. And third of all, she had school in the morning. Yeah. I'm sorry, but my 17 year old is not going to work overnight in a lobby that's 24 hours. Nothing oh, the good open. happens. Yes. Oh, Nothing okay, yeah. good happens from midnight to four in the morning. As a parent, Sorry. you got to step in there. Yeah, yeah I sure to. did. Yeah. You're out of here. <laughs> like you're done. Oh. You're not working anymore. So I have a question for Greg answers. Does anybody know why Jay's comment is blue? Yes. Why, why does it say a dollar ninety nine? Get him. Got him. Because he because we're have, have we let the cat out of the bag yet? What no. are we talking about? Let it out of the he, bag. He because we're monetized now, and he was putting. He was basically doing a super super chat kind of thing. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Thanks, Jay. I don't know what that it's is. Kind of like tipping. Oh well, then thanks. Uh, yeah. I'm just That's saying. Why, why is this? Jay. Jay? Well, That's I saw that, that and it's like bright blue, and I don't even know what that means. So. Oh, I'm yeah. Really thanks, yeah. Jay. Oh. Sorry, I didn't, Josh. I didn't know you really didn't know. I thought you were like building. Oh it up. no, I I mean I know we're monetized, <laughs> but I thought that that just came through from ads and stuff. I didn't realize people could send us money. Uh, thanks, Matt. Oh, okay, that's yeah. You don't have to do that. Thank you very much, but you don't, you don't have right. to do that. It's twerking time, Matt. Ready? Ready? Twerking. Ready? Yeah. Nope. Nope. What happened to it? I took him off the what? stage. <laughs> what? <laughs> do you know, speaking of that in YouTube and their funny stuff, do you know that the Twerky Time video got taken down? Because it was, um, I had to I had to fight it with YouTube. Now we won and they put it back up. But what? that's why that, that YouTube oh, yeah. short only has like 20 views. It's because yeah. it got flagged and got taken down and I had to uh, dispute it with them. But why? Because I think the AI thought that there was somebody twerking on there or whatever when they didn't right. actually watch it. You, you, all right, there's gonna be a twerking short. Um, Matt, however, you. did you see TikTok? <laughs> like we had like yes. 700 views on that. We're still TikTok learning. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, but also they also uh, TikTok did the one that uh, that uh, we know we haven't given him a shout out. Our boy. <laughs> Um, I, I know every time I'm like Trump and Biden, uh, it got he had to dispute that one too because they said yeah. it was original content. It was like, did you you didn't even watch it then because it's 100 original content, right? <laughs> you guys are uh, hey, Greg, is yours a uh, restaurant? Oh my gosh, stop it, you guys, yeah. stop it. Thanks, <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> They really want that twerking video. Yeah, apparently that's good oh for the twerk. Wow. <laughs> you answer the question. What's the worst job you've ever had? Wow. I've, I'll tell you, I've lasted long. I don't think I've quit under two or three months on any job. You're so better you than me. You guys are all like one, two hours, two weeks. <laughs> but my yeah. worst job probably was working at Mazio's delivering it pizza. It is all food. Yeah. yeah. Getting paid two food an is not hour. Good. Because you get tips, yeah. and then they try to make me work in the kitchen so I couldn't deliver, making two something an hour, which was illegal. Mm -hmm. And I had an ex felon as a, an assistant manager, and let's just say it was a horrible job. Yeah, that's not good. That does not sound good wow. whatsoever. No, yeah, I actually quit. She called the manager, called me up, see if I would work more hours, and I quit on that phone call and oh. never came back in. Gotcha. Good for you. Babe. I said more hours. I said, how about no more hours? <laughs> more hours at the I worst was... job I've ever worked in my entire yes. life. I said, no, I'm you. done. I ain't coming back in. Because I was working wow. two jobs at the time, and I was like, I'm done. Yeah. So this did I ever like... tell you guys the story? So I used to work at Fazoli's. Do you guys know what Fazoli's is? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you did really tell us this story. Did I tell you that story? Yeah. Why your I got... friend? It's the only job <laughs> I have ever gotten fired from. Well, let me just say this, Holly. If you're going to fist fight your friend on the counter of the restaurant and like make each other bleed, you probably deserve to get fired. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, okay, so the the best part of it was her and I got into a fight. I never hit her. 
I was holding her down by her hair because she was like going crazy. And I was like, you need to knock it off. Like I was just holding her down. And the manager that ended up, you know, separating us and telling us we're pretty much fired was so pissed off because he came outside and me and her were sitting there laughing together. And <laughs> was, and she is my best friend to this day. She is still my best friend. And that was the only job I ever got fired from. So let me, wow. let me throw this out there. Angry. Holly and I have uh, become friends on a different social media platform. And so I went back and looked at some really old pictures. There was something evil in your eyes when you were younger, Holly. I'm wow. telling you, I was not I'm telling you, there's something different in those eyes when you were younger. And I don't know, of course, it doesn't say how old you were, but I was like, I, I actually thought to myself when I saw it last night, that's the Holly that Fist fought her best friend. <laughs> like, I guarantee you, that's the Holly that Fist fought her best friend. I could see that 100%. Yeah. Bang. Caleb, please like and subscribe.